waiting for the bus and I hope it's a double decker because I love to sit at the top. Did you know there's a plane that's also a double decker? It's called the A380 and it's a super jumbo. The largest passenger plane ever built so it has plenty of room at the top. Wanna find out some more? The company that made the A380 has something else in common with buses too. Their name. They're called Airbus. <laughs> Originally, all they set out to do was build a massive plane that could take more than 500 people. After trying out loads of designs on paper, it seemed that having two floors was the simplest way to do this. It wasn't easy though. They had to tackle some big problems. The first one was the weight. Now, as we've been finding out, planes have to keep their weight down. Not because they're on a diet, but because the heavier they are, the more fuel they need to get them off the ground and reach their cruising speeds. And that's not good for the environment or our ticket prices. A normal plane weighs about three or four hundred tons. That's as heavy as 40 elephants. The A380 is twice as heavy as this though. Even before anyone has got on board, it weighs as much as 80 elephants. I wonder how they would all do up their seatbelts ready for takeoff. <laughs> OK, there aren't real elephants in an A380, but all that weight could make it just too difficult to get off the ground and stay up in the air. Luckily, the designers had a few tricks up their sleeves. Loads of tests were done to make sure the shape of the plane was as aerodynamic as possible so it could cut through the air easily. If you've ever walked with your umbrella on a windy day, you'll have seen for yourself how much the wind can slow things down. Do you know how they test out different shapes? Here's a clue. It's a wind tunnel. A model of the plane is secured in a tunnel and enormous fans push air past it. Sometimes smoke is used to make it easier to see. Sensors on the plane show which surfaces are being pushed by the air the most, so the designers can alter the design to make the air pass as smoothly as possible over the plane. Wind tunnels are pretty expensive, so designers also use lots of computers to run tests. And it's important that they test the shape thoroughly because once you've built a 400 ton aircraft, well, you can't really take it back to the shop. <laughs> There's another way that the designers made the A380 as efficient as it could be. It was all to do with the materials it was made from. Normally, aircraft are mostly made of aluminium and steel. As metal are heavy, the designers at Airbus wanted to use as little of them as possible. So, a quarter of this massive plane is made of something called a composite. Do you know what that is? <laughs> a composite is just mixed up materials. Think of it like this. Have you ever been to a birthday party with a piñata? You might have seen that the piñata was made of a composite of paper and glue, squished up into a shape and left to go hard. Before you give it a good bashing with a stick. Mixing two or more things together into composites can give you a material that's stronger than the separate parts would be on their own. Engineers have used composites in aircrafts for decades. Even the very first planes 100 years ago had fabric soaked in resin to make thin and strong skins for the fuselages. The composite that makes the A380 so light is a bit more high-tech than that. Scientists go right down into molecules of carbon to make... Can you guess? It's called carbon fibre. Carbon atoms are stretched into long ribbons that are packed together in a plastic and heated up to really high temperatures to mould them together. They're one quarter as dense as metals like steel, but two or three times stronger. The A380 is one quarter carbon fibre, but there's also a plane that's half carbon fibre. It's called the Dreamliner. As well as being light, it's easy to make into different shapes too, which all help the A380 become a very successful super jumbo. This is my ride. I'll have to settle for the top deck of the bus for now. Chocks away. Amy's Aviation, with support from the Royal Aeronautical Society. Find out more about aviation at funkinslive.com forward slash 